there's just no reason to get in a car and drive if you've had anything. According to California-based criminal justice consultant Helen Harberts, there's a new type of driver to be on the watch for. Any of the driving or the influence people automatically think is alcohol, but in fact the fastest rising group is uh, DUI drugs and DUI combination alcohol and drugs. Harberts presented at the Pacific Judicial Council 2014 Driving While Impaired conference earlier this week. The problem is that most people don't understand that they're impaired because they can't feel it. I've never met anybody who thought, I'm going to go out and drive under the influence. I mean, it's not volitional. So it's about all of us watching and making sure and reminding people. And to be honest, sometimes you just got to get the keys. But um, everybody needs to be aware that this group is extremely dangerous. They kill themselves and they kill a lot of other people. But what can island officials do to keep Guam's roads safe? Harberts notes we need to proceed with caution, especially with the recent passage of medicinal marijuana. We have to become much more sophisticated about what we understand to be impaired driving. And we do know that once you introduce or make something more available, such as your recent passage of a medical marijuana bill, unless you're extremely cautious about how it is managed, um, availability always results in an increase in use. And so you're going to be seeing more DUI um, impairment based on cannabis and can cannabinoid intoxication than you have in the past. Superior Court of Guam presiding Judge Alberto Lamorena mirrors Harbert's concerns. It's the holiday season. If you drink, please don't drive. If you take prescription drugs or ingest any illicit drugs, that's not including uh, marijuana, um, please don't drive. The safety of the community is at stake. Lamorena says that although DUIs have seen a decline, they continue to be the highest number of misdemeanors filed at the Superior Court. Under the first offense, you first two, had two days at the Department of Corrections, you pay a $1,000 fine, and you perform 75 hours community service, and then you're referred by the court for assessment for possible treatment for alcohol or any illicit drugs that you are addicted to.